this is what my snowblower is doing to my interlock scratching it all up because of the steel skids going to be replacing the steel skids with my own poly skids using an old cutting board move one of the skids as a cutting template using my trusty table saw to do the cutting now I'm just deciding on what shape to cut the, the skid now this is just an old poly board a cutting board I've had for years hopefully my wife won't miss it we haven't used it in a while this stuff is tough can't remember the exact name of the plastic what it's called but it is hard so in Canada they want an arm and a leg for poly skids I had this anyway so it cost me nothing and I might just copy this shape but I'm going to invert it after keep this on the machine put the poly over it invert it so it'll be coming like this that'll be the well you'll see I can do one two three four almost six six skids but decide on uh, what shape to use As you can see, cut really good, easy, no issues cutting it. Probably just leave that, cut this off maybe. I'll just cut this in half. This is 10 inches, so I'll cut it in.
Okay, now I'm going to round off the edges with the belt sander. I'm going to tape these two together. At least they got uniformity on both. Cuts are almost exactly identical. The only problem I see The only problem I see is should have maybe went longer because the machine is built to be where this is situated to protect it from the augers hitting anything and it would write up so probably I will mount it forward to this instead of the back. Mind you, I still got a whole piece of another sheet and I can still make them longer. Drill my two holes here. Well, this have to be slotted. Really, I never go that high, so probably just make the slots uh, from that base to halfway. So if you're doing this, try to keep it as long as your original one. So what I probably should have done was cut a long ways and I could have had uh, two long pieces instead of cutting it short width and cutting that in half and getting a short piece. And what I got, well, I got lots left I can cut there, I can make that big. Okay, can do with that. Thing is, I can't test until the winter, and as you can see, summer. I'm going to drill the holes. Got a bit that matches. 
line it up to the one side, doesn't matter which side. Big, so Let's see if I got a right size for this hole. Oh, this has a little play in it. Table saw because Ray has a hole built in. I can go right through. Could gudge that all out and make it all one piece, but never needed to go higher than almost minimum. Minimum. Push on the tight side, but yes. Just get that out of the way.
didn't see how shitty job I did. Well, I miscalculated where to start the holes. I actually started too low. And it's only going a little bit below the frame. I have to check my other side and noticed. it's about maybe one third the way up of the slots so that's where I should have started so I'm gonna cut these higher up so I should have started higher and the other problem is these bolts are good because I replaced them but on this side as you can see One broke right off, and what was there is actually too short to go through mm -hmm. here and through the poly. So I'm going to have to buy two long ones, just like what's on the other side. So I'm going to do the other side and uh, get these slots higher up. There it is. Ain't pretty, but it's good enough for the ladies I go out with. And I gotta remember that I could have gone, it's okay to go higher because I can use either way. So this can be the bottom, or this can be the bottom. So if you center it, you should be good to go. So this is the poly skids all done. This is the poly skids all done. I probably should have went bigger here because. If you can see this, but there's a sort of a gap here, but I don't think I even need the uh, old skid. But I could have gotten longer and I could have gotten wider. So I got a lot left of the uh, old cutting board. And I just actually use this as my uh, keep the uh, scraper bar up so I can. Uh, tighten these down and I don't think these are going to move anywhere because these washers when you tighten them down they really sink into the uh, poly board and I don't think they're going to move down but this mark here it's a permanent magic marker will give me an idea how much it's wearing down and probably going to put a couple marks just to see if this does slide down, which I don't see that happen. I'm gonna maybe put a couple magic marker marks here. Magic marker marks, yep. Lines. I don't think this is gonna move down just in case it does move. And maybe put a line over here. This is the the old skid, which I might take out. I don't think I need it. But just to put a line here to just see if how much this is actually wearing down, if at all. But now, I can move it around, and it's not scratching up anything. And it should slide over the ice and snow a lot easier. This stuff is uh, slick to the touch. And that is it. Poly kids on a small bar for cheap. And still lots of material left. And let's show you the other side. Yeah, I gotta do something about the rust in here, but it's just basically surface rust. Spray some oil on it and store for the, the summer until winter comes back. And those are my Peller mod rubber I got from my tire. Got a video on that, and they're holding up pretty good. If you haven't done it, you should do it. Thanks for watching.